Welcome to our May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Some users are prompted with the Zero XC one nine double zero one zero one error code when they update Windows ten to Windows eleven or install Windows eleven, which prevents them from proceeding. Actually, this code can appear at any stage of the upgrade or installation process. This is a generic rollback code. It usually indicates that an incompatible driver is present, which can cause a blue screen, system hangs, and unexpected reboots. Here, I collected the top five commonest solutions to help you fix the problem. Number one, use the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Open Settings from the desktop. Go to System, Troubleshoot. Other troubleshooters, Windows Update. Hit the Run to check for problems. Number two, clean up the disk. Search for disk cleanup from the search box and launch it. Select the C drive and click OK. Take the files you want to delete and hit OK. Confirm the prompt to proceed. Number 3. Update your faulty driver. Open Device Manager. Extend Desk Drivers. Select Update Driver to start the update. Number 4. Scan for potential disk errors. To resolve the error, you can also scan for any potential disk errors and fix them by typing relevant comments into Command Prompt. The comments to scan and fix are as follows. Number 5. Disable your network adapters. Many users claim that after disabling their network adapters, the error code is gone. Open Device Manager. Right-click on the first network adapter and select Disable Device. Repeat it on other network adapters. If you can't install or update to Windows 11 in traditional ways, you can turn to a third-party disk manager Omni Partition System Professional to migrate Windows 11 to your computer. It can be less time consuming. You can Google Omni Partition System Professional to learn more. Connect the boot disk where Windows 11 is installed to your current PC. Then launch Omni Partition System Pro. Click on Migrate OS to SSD from the left. Choose unallocated space on the destination disk and click on Next. If the disk has no unallocated space, then you should take the option, I want to delete all partitions on the disk to migrate system to the disk. In the following window, you can resize the partition. Read the pop-up and click on Finish. Hit Apply, Proceed to start the Windows 11 migration. When the OS migration is complete, you should disconnect the hard disk of the other PC and boot from the disk of your own PC. Hope this video can help you. Want to know more about Aomei? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with your any issues.